Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I do want to apologize. I know we are a bit behind. We have uh, tons of new videos coming for you guys as well as the series that um, we had spoke about in regards to tarot interpretation. So you guys definitely stay out on the lookout for that. Anyways, let's get into your reading, Aquarius. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of August, 2021. Now, your first card here is the full card. Uh, very, you know, new beginnings. Um, I see you guys taking on a new journey or a desire to um, start something new. Uh, for some of you guys, this could indicate a, a beginning in regards to... Um, some type of endeavor that you're taking on or will be taking on for the remainder of the month now your next card here is the magician and what they're saying here is understanding and knowing that you have the power you have the uh, the strength you have all the tools that you need at your disposal in regards to uh, manifestations in regards to uh, growth and advancement there is a, it's almost like a renewed type of energy. I see you guys being focused. I see you guys, um, for some of you guys, this could even indicate um, some type of upkeeping um, with yourself. This could be you guys uh, deciding to uh, physically uh, make some type of changes, whether it's, um, whether it's um, like a makeover, uh, perhaps you've decided recently to cut your hair. Um, there is a revamping of energy here that I am uh, experiencing for some of you guys. Um, like I said, uh, it's understanding and knowing that you have the power uh, to attract or to manifest that which you're wanting. Um, if you've been doubting or if you've been uh, in your head in the past couple of weeks in regards to uh things starting to uh, propel you to a new a new beginning a new cycle a new way of seeing things um, this is you understanding this is you knowing the power that you have that you hold oftentimes when uh, you know when we often think about something that is almost an obsession and most of the time humans have this tendency of over worrying or over stressing yourself about things that haven't even happened yet um, what you're doing is you're putting all your attention and focus towards that therefore you're vibrating from that type of energy whether it's fear whether it's a doubt whatever it is um, and the same for positive optimistic outlook if you have a tendency of being extremely optimistic and positive then you start to notice that um, a lot of the times it's almost like a feeling of like you're a very lucky person or even those around you often tell you, you know, you you seems like you have very good luck and everything you do, uh, things like that. And the reason for it is because, again, whatever our mind goes to, you know, energy flows to that and that will become your reality. So it's about this month. I feel that for a lot of you guys, it's understanding um, the power that you have in redirecting your thoughts, your ideas. Um, for some of you guys, this could even indicate having a uh, an epiphany, some type of idea that you can potentially turn into something that is very lucrative for you. Now, your next card here is the Seven of Cups. Um, having options, uh, a bit of scattered energy in the past as it is in the past position, um, with the five of wands this is about stepping up this is about owning um, your life or taking control of your life this is overcoming obstacles that have been thrown your way or you know situations that uh, you know involve other people and you know we don't have control over other people but we do have control over how we react to certain situations so the five of wands is here to tell you um focus in what it is that you're wanting to attract what you're wanting to make happen for this month and 
the focus and the determination behind it uh, will propel you to be able to see those achievements, to be able to um, get to see those manifestations, uh, regardless of situation or circumstances. Now, your next card here is the Nine of Wands. And we have the Nine of Cups. So we have two nines here. Um, I feel that for some of you guys, you're dealing with a situation where at some point you felt like you kind of lost control of your life or things were not going the way you wanted them to. Um, but it had a lot to do with your state of mind. It had a lot to do with your mentality, the energy that you uh, primarily were vibrating to or have been vibrating to. And I see you really, like I said, with the nine of wands, this is, you know, overcoming those obstacles and becoming wiser, becoming stronger, knowing that knowledge and that potential that that you have to manifest the life that you want um, is bringing to you wish fulfillment. We do have the nine of cups here, and this is in the position of um, what is unfolding for you. Um, and nine of cups is all about emotional fulfillment. Um, could be in regards to relationships, but it can be in every other aspect of your life. It could be in career, in your finances. This is having a bountiful type of energy. This is manifestations unfolding for you. This is knowing um, that whatever it is that you hope to achieve or that you wish to make happen, you're able to make that happen if you decide to. It's kind of like limiting yourself or refusing to limit yourself and think outside the box. The more you shoot for the stars, the more you're able to uh, see those manifestations happen versus uh, limiting yourself or feeling or thinking that you won't be able to accomplish whatever it is that you decide, that's exactly what's going to unfold for you. But they are telling you here, keeping the focus and not being distracted for the month of August is definitely going to be very, uh, uh, very positive because you will be able to see a new beginning, a new cycle, as well as manifestations that are going to be unfolding for you um, in a very positive way. And we're talking about stability here with the Four of Wands. Uh, so this is, you know, uh, financially uh, becoming more stable. Uh, this is, you know, being able to stabilize your finances, become um, or put energy and effort or even saving up to get a new home, uh, saving up whatever it is that you would consider your stability, you have the potential to unfold that. You have the potential to manifest that. Um, now, your next card here is the two of wands. So yeah, we definitely see expansion here. We see growth. Uh, we see opportunities. It's about keeping your focus. It's about uh, deciding what it is that you want and going after it, not allowing anything or anyone um, to discourage you. It, it's about choosing wisely the people that you choose to be around or that you decide to allow them to be around you. Um, understanding that type of energy or the energy that they carry does affect you. So if you're keeping an inner circle, a very tight knit on your inner circle and these are people that you're choosing to relate to that are motivating that have you know goals and aspirations then more than likely you start to vibrate to that type of energy as well because it's kind of like feeding each other that energy now if you are you know surrounding yourself with people that are uh, dramatic people that like to steer up drama people that are negative that's going to affect as well as it's going to affect your outcome as well. So again, what they're telling you here is keep primarily for the month of August, keep your focus on what it is that you want uh, to manifest in your life, what you're wanting to accomplish. And once you have that uh, clear crystal vision of what it is that you want, it's about going for it and not allowing any type of sight distraction, especially uh, the company that you choose to keep around you. I do see the manifestations of uh, stability when we're talking about, um, you know, being able to feel 
like uh, things are becoming more stable whether it's in your home life whether it's the family dynamic or whether it's career and finances um, the strength card is speaking about uh, believing in yourself and being confident and continuing on on the path or journey uh, knowing and trusting yourself okay i hope that this gives you guys guidance i wish you guys the very best and we'll see each other soon bye